What's going on gunners? Welcome back to the Beginner Gunner. Today I'm going to talk about my reload press situation. I'm going to show you firearm number two of the three new firearms I purchased. We're going to talk about safes and cabinets and we might touch on how expensive ammo is now. Um, so let's just talk about the ammo prices. I've been watching a few videos about people going to um, gun shows and how ridiculous the prices are for not only ammo but firearms in general. I was watching one YouTuber, he went someplace and in a whole gun show they only had about 2,000 rounds of 9mm. So I'm sure a lot of people are leaning towards reloading their own ammo now. So now let's transition into the reloading press. Everywhere I look, they're out of stock. Um, and if you find one on eBay, the prices are pretty much double. And you know, there's a bidding war when you, whenever you're on eBay. And there's very little buy now options for re reloading um, press on eBay. So I thought about buying a press and piecing together the whole kit. Um, that way I can get it, get one sooner only because every place online is out of stock. But if I piece it together, um, I might come out paying almost $100 more. But who to say the loading press, how long it'll be before the loading press are in stock again? It can be next year sometime. There was, I was on Midway and uh, they had an option for 41 Magnum press and it had a ship date of January 16th, 2021. So, and that's an odd caliber, 21, I think it's called a 41 Remington Magnum. So that's a rare one. So that's probably why they have some of those press available. So I have three options with that. I can, um, like I said, piece together my own reload kit press, or I can pay the extra $100 that they're selling them for or I can just wait. I don't know how long I can wait. It's not like I shoot every day. I try and go to the range like once a week and because of the ammo shortage when I go I'm only shooting 50 rounds but I'm sure if I had if I get a reload press I will go more often. So if you have any ideas about um, how I should go about that you guys let me know and then another thing primer is out of stock everywhere we look so what I'm going to do right now is just stock up on on um, bullets and brass and some powder and I'll figure out how I'm going to do the loading press okay let's talk about safes and cabinets so right now I'm storing my ammo and my firearms in the closet in my master bedroom okay as you can see this is how I store my ammo and my firearms for the time being. So I definitely need a cabinet or a safe to put these in. Um, so I have my safe here. It holds two pistols, firearms, um, which I quick access. I have my Smith & Wesson in here and also have my um, Charter Arms 38. And I have a magazine in here that's loaded just in case I need to get to it. So I'm storing ammo here. I have more firearms above in the cases that they came with. And then I have my long rifles here. So, oh, this is my high point. I'm going to show you guys this a little bit later. I have my Mossberg, I have my Caltech, and I also have a Smith & Wesson MP. Um, 1522 all right here and then on the floor I also have ammo cans with ammo in them as well so I definitely need a place to store um, my ammo and my firearms um, this is a this is a closet I should be storing clothes in here but instead I'm filling it up with ammo and firearms so it, so I'm looking at either a cabinet or a safe 
Um, my price range is $300, between $300 and $350. So there's two safes that I actually looked at, and then there's a bunch of different gun cabinets that I looked at in that price range. And um, I'll go into more detail about which ones um, I've decided to uh, put on a list that I want and the the criteriums they meet as far as the features I would like to have in the case are the safe itself. So so for right now this is the way I'm storing things and uh, I just don't I just don't like it. I don't think it's appropriate. Like I said, this is this is my closet with my dresser and clothing in there. So I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think? What are your opinions on the two safes I've chose? and the cabinets that I chose. So um, comment, let me know what you think is best. Um, the case or the cabinet. And, I'm sorry, the safe or the cabinet. I need a place to, to store those. Um, I have a price range of 300 to $350. I found two safes in that price range. One is at Harbor Freight, the other one is at Walmart. The one at Walmart is actually out of stock. So. And I'm also looking for something that's modular so I can move the shelves in any configuration that, that I want them in. So that's one of the things on my list. And those two safes fit that. Um, and that will also deter a burglar a little bit longer than a cabinet because a cabinet, all you pretty much need is a pry bar or a screwdriver. And the cabinet is 179 and it's by um, Stack On. And there's another one, Sentinel. So I, I think I'm going with Stack On just because of the of the name. Um, so the one at Harbor Freight is the Union Safe. The one at Walmart is called Fortress Safe. And those are ranging between $279 and $310. So I need to make this decision on what I want to do. I actually want to get the safe or cabinet before I buy the reloader. But the, the catch to it is if I buy a the cheaper cabinet that gives me more money to buy the reloader <laughs> if i buy the the more expensive safe um it gives me less money to buy the reloader or it, i need more time to save up a little bit more money to buy the reloader so there's a catch 22 with that um and i'm going to show you guys my number two firearm that i purchased which is the high point you go right here this is my high point Carbine. So I have two carbines. This one and my Caltech um, Sub 2000. Which one do I like the best? Uh, I'm not for sure yet <laughs> because this one definitely comes in second for looks. The Caltech comes in first for looks. So shoot shootability, if that's a word. Um, I haven't figured it out yet because I enjoy shooting both of them. Um, but once I actually get more ammo, I'm able to put more rounds through, I'll let you guys know. This is the only reason I'm not doing a full review on the, the firearms because I don't have a lot of ammo just to, just to be shooting like that. Um, so once I obtain a little bit more ammo and put about 500 rounds through both firearms, I'll definitely let you guys know which one I like the best. But as far as looks, like I said, this is second place. This is runner up. As far as my Caltech, I like that. I like the features of that more so than this. So, yeah. Um, what else is what I'm going to talk about? I think that's pretty much it. So, if you guys have any suggestions as far as the reloader, let me know. Any suggestions on if I should go with the safe or the cabinet? Um, either or. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. And thanks to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching the, the last video. I'm going to try and post a video every week to give you guys an update on what's going on with the reloading situation. I think that's the most important thing for me right now, because that's hold by me not wanting to spend money on ammo because of the cost. It's keeping me from going to the range and I enjoy going to the range. I want to go to the range more often. So if I'm able to reload my own ammo and save money from buying ammo at the store, I can go to the range more often. Uh, and I can give you guys some footage of me at the range. 
So with that said, I want to say thank you for tuning in to this video. Uh, and I'm going to post something later on this week as far as what my decision is on the cabinet or the safe. Because I want to get that as soon as possible. Once I get that, I can move on to the reloading process. And I actually have a bunch of questions about reloading. So one day, instead of you me, you guys doing a Q&A for me, I'm going to do a Q&A for you all and ask you questions about reloading all right i'll talk to you guys later so don't forget we're all gunners whether you're a beginner gunner intermediate gunner advanced or pro gunner we're all gunners talk to you guys later